Welcome back. Today, you're going to learn how to build AI chatbot in Telegram in just 15 minutes. This is what you will be building. You receive a message on Telegram. The AI automatically sends a response back to whoever that sends you that message. Let me break it down a little bit further. So in Telegram, somebody sends you a message, let's say asking about a coffee subscription plan. The message will be passed to OpenAI. OpenAI process the message and it will send the response back to the human via Telegram. So this is what we need. We need a make account and an OpenAI API key to build this. Within make platform, this is what the entire setup is going to look like. There's going to be a Telegram module as well as an OpenAI module. It is really simple. If you don't already have a make account, you can scan this QR code to sign up for a make account. If not, you can go to the description below and click on the link to sign up for an account. Without further ado, let me show you how to build an AI chatbot in just 15 minutes. The first thing we need to do is to go to Telegram and start searching for bot father. When you search for bot father, in the result list, you will see something like this. It should have a verified sign and you click on bot father. Just click on it. Once you click on bot father, if you are here for the first time, you can just click on start. Once you click on start, it will automatically send out that first message, which is forward slash start. And this is a time where bot father will send, uh, will just let you know the list of commands that you can make. So what do we want to do from here? We need to create a new bot. So you're going to type forward slash new bot. Okay, you're going to type forward slash new bot and send to bot father. So once bot father um, is aware that you would like to create a new bot, it will ask you, hey, what do you want to call uh, this new bot? Uh, give it a name. So in this case, we can give it any name, right? Just give it any name. And in my case, I just call my bot Coffee Pass. You can choose your own name. It doesn't matter. Once I have indicated the name for the bot, bot father proceed to ask me, what is the username that I like to give to the bot? So I give the bot a username called Coffee Pass Bot. Okay, this is the one that I've sent. At this point, you got to take note that the username for your bot it has to end with bot, B-O-T. Otherwise, it's not going to work, right? So once I've let um, bot father know that the username for the bot is going to be coffee pass bot, it will tell me whether it is successfully created or not. So in this case, you can see that um, the new bot is successfully created um, and bot father also gave me the token uh, for this bot, right? Which is something that uh, blanked out. So this is, so this thing is the token. So for this token, I need you to just copy it and paste it somewhere, maybe in a notepad or something. You are gonna need to use this in Make, all right? So now, before we move on, I want to make sure that you're logged in to your Make account. If you do not have a Make account, you can scan this QR code to sign up for a Make account. If not, you can click on the link that I provided in the descriptions to sign up for the Make account. Now, I assume that you have logged into your Make account. Let's proceed. Now that you are in Make, create a new scenario. First thing you need to do is to add a Telegram bot module. At the start, you know it's empty, so you're going to click on this plus sign over here. Click on it, and it will open up um, um, like, a, like a dialog for you to search. You're just going to type Telegram. You should see Telegram bot. You can click on it. Once you click on Telegram bot, proceed to search for watch updates. Just type watch, you should see watch updates. All right. So basically, this is just the trigger um, to start the whole, you know, a uh, chatbot process. Click on watch updates. Now, if you're here for the first time, uh, you don't have a webhook. This is the part where you'll need to add a webhook to the Telegram bot by clicking on add. You click on add it will prompt you to provide a connection for the webhook. Now, I assume that you have no connection yet. So this is the part where you have to click on add again, click on add. Now, make is going to prompt you to provide a token for your telegram. So what is this token that we are supposed to provide here? So remember the part where I asked you to uh, save the token from the telegram uh, chat from Botfather. 
you're gonna start to use that over here. So if you need a refresher, you can you know uh, move back to step five and look for your Telegram token. Just paste it here. Okay. Once you have pasted uh, the token into the token field, click save. Now you should start to see you know the connection name appear in this field. Just proceed to click save again. Once everything is okay, um, just click on okay. At this stage, your interface should look something like this. You'll have a Telegram bot in uh, your make platform, All right? So the next thing that we'd like to do is to just test that um, the Telegram bot module in make is able to receive the message when someone uh, sends the uh, bot a message. So how are we going to test it? So to test the webhook connection between the uh, Telegram and Make, you got to click on Run Once. Run Once is at the bottom left, so just click on Run Once. The moment you click on it, it will become this state, right? So Telegram bot, it's you know there's this a loader that is loading, um, and there's a stop icon there. So when you're looking at this, basically right now, Make is just waiting for someone to send a message to the Telegram bot. So next thing we need to do is to go to Telegram, go to Telegram and search for your bot, the bot that you have created in Telegram earlier. Search for your bot using the username. In my case, my bot is called Coffee Passport. In your case, the username for your bot would most likely be different from mine. So just include the username for your bot. From the result, select the bot, just click on it. Again, if you're accessing the bot for the first time, you should see a start button. Just click on start. The moment you click on start, it was automatically sent out that first message, which is a command to start the bot, right? So you can see that over here. I know it's a little bit small, um, but it automatically sends out forward slash start. So the moment you send the message to the uh, Telegram bot, you can go back to make, go back to make, and notice that the Telegram bot module it receives one message, okay? It receives one message over here. And you notice that it stops waiting for message because you're only running it once, okay? Now, I want you to click on one. Just click on one. And you can see that from the output bundle, go to output bundle, expand a message, and within message, you should see something that is called text. The value for text is forward slash start. This is the message that you have sent to the Telegram bot. Alright, so this just proves that the Telegram bot in Make has successfully received the message from Telegram. Alright, so at this point, we can be assured that the connections between Telegram and Make is established. So what are we going to do next from here? The next thing that we need to do is to pass that Telegram message to OpenAI GPT module. And this is all to be done inside Make. Let's see how we can do that. Now, go to Make and go to your scenario. You can see that if you hover over to your Telegram bot module, you'll see this thing called Add Another Module. You click on it and it's going to open up, you know, again, a list of modules that you can choose to connect to the Telegram bot module. All you have to do is to type OpenAI and you should see this option here. Click on OpenAI module. Just click on it. The moment you click on it, it's going to ask you to specify the actions for this OpenAI module. For the action that we're going to use, we're going to use create a completion. That includes, you know, a GPT-3, GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. Okay, just click on this. Now, Again, if you are here for the first time, you probably have noticed that your connection is, you know, perhaps it's blank. So this is the time that you'll have to establish the uh, connections to OpenAI from Make. Click on Add. It's going to prompt you to provide the API key as well as the organization ID for your OpenAI account. If you're not sure how to uh, find the OpenAI key and the OpenAI organization ID, you know, I will put the uh, guide on how to do so in the descriptions so that uh, I hope that's easy for you to you know follow along okay so just check out the description now once once you have uh, added the uh, API key and the organization ID just click on save 
you'll see that the name um, for your connection is going to be shown. And the next thing that you need to do is to select the AI model that you like to use. In this case, we will be using GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, just select it. Next, under messages, we need to click add item. Click add item. Now, the first thing, the first item that we need to add is the system message. So under item one, for the role, you need to select system. Select system, okay. For the message content, basically, you know, uh, I know it looks very long. Again, don't worry. I will add the message content in the descriptions. Um, you can play around with it. Basically, the message content for the system, the system message is to just let the uh, AI model know, give it a bit more context in terms of what is a role and responsibility and what are the things that uh, he or she is supposed to do. So once I've added the message content, I will scroll down, I scroll down, and I'll add another item. So I'll click on add item. For the second item, for the second item, the role is going to be user. As for the message content for the user, I will need to take the message content from the Telegram bot module. So on the right hand side, you know, if you probably, uh, you know, just, just click on the message content view, it will show you the list of options that you can choose from the Telegram bot. So over here, this is a part where, you know, uh, some people will be a little bit confused in terms of where to find the uh, message text. So this is a part you got to be very careful, okay? So make sure that you get the text within the message portion, okay? Under message portion, you scroll down, you should search for text. Add that in, all right? Click on it to add that in. Now that you have added the uh, system message as well as the user message, click on OK. So at this stage, your whole setup should look something like this. All right? Now, again, we need to test whether it actually works. So click on Run Once. Now the uh, scenario, the mix scenario, uh, is waiting for message to come in. Now switch to Telegram. For your bot, you got to start talking to your bot, okay? You can start asking in some uh, questions. For example, I say, hi, what is the price? I click send, the message is sent. I navigate back to make, and I notice that the uh, scenario, the uh, Telegram uh, module has received the uh, message, and the message is being passed to OpenAI module. Now, I'm going to click on the, uh, I'm going to inspect what is it that OpenAI has received and output by clicking on this, okay? Click on this. I'm going to scroll down to output. For output, go down to choices, um, expand the uh, message, and I'll find that for the message content by the assistant, this is what the AI is replying for the message that it has received. So the message is asking for the price, so it is responding accordingly. Okay? Now, at this point, the Telegram message is successfully added to OpenAI uh, GPT for processing. And we, as we have seen, the AI is able to respond accordingly based on the context provided. So the next thing that we need to do is to take that AI response from OpenAI module and send it back to the user on Telegram. So how are we going to do that? Again, we're going to add another module and link it to the OpenAI module. So you click on Add Another Module. This is the part where you have to, again, search for Telegram bot. Click on Telegram bot. As for the actions, you're going to have to click on send a text message or a reply. Click on it. Now, this is the part where you got to be a little bit careful, OK? Under, for the uh, connection, make sure that you have selected the same connection. Make sure that you have selected the same connection as the first Telegram module that you're using, OK? Just double check. And for the uh, chat message, you will need, you click on the chat message field, I mean a chat ID field, click on the field, it's going to open up, you know, something on the right hand side where you're able to select the different um, properties for the Telegram bot. Make sure you go to message under from, message from, you got to select the ID from here. Okay, select the ID, just click on it and you apply the message ID into the chat ID. All right, as for the text message to be sent back, to the user, our response will come from OpenAI uh, GPT response, which is why we'll go to, we'll click on text, it's going to open up something on the right hand side, under OpenAI module, you scroll down, click on choices, click on message, and click on content. This is the content you want to use. 
click on content. Once you have added the chat ID and the text, click on OK. Now your scenario should look something like this. Next thing we want to do is turn this scenario on, change it from off, click on it to off. And we like to save our scenario. Click on this to save it. Now that we have uh, created you know, the scenario and we have saved it, we will proceed to test the scenario by talking to our chatbot. Let's try chatting with the bot. OK, perhaps let's ask, um, can you tell me what is the price for your product? Give it a while. All right, we receive a response. Um, maybe we try to ask something like, uh, can you briefly tell me about your company? Great, the response is pretty fast. Um, maybe ask something like, what is the delivery like? All right, awesome. So as you can see, with such a simple setup, we have successfully created our AI chatbot on Telegram. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of such content, let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Remember to subscribe so that you can keep yourself updated when I release uh, the next content on product building, AI, and automations. I'll see you in the next video.